Whiston here and you join me for another episode of Legends of West Anglia. So today we're going for another adventure, going to the village of Balsham, that's to the southeast of Cambridge, to the northeast of Duxford and it's to the south of Six Mile Bottom. It's in South Cambridgeshire and it's in West Anglia. Today's legend is all about a mythical beast known as the Shug Monkey. It's said to live in between the villages of Balsham and West Ratting in the countryside there. There was a sighting in 1956, a man was out walking his dog one morning. Uh, early January it was, post New Year's Day, and he spotted this creature and he wasn't sure what it was at, at first sight but he recorded it as being 10 foot in length with the body of a dog and the head of a monkey. He said he'd never seen anything like it before and that he was absolutely certain that it was paranormal in origin. No Jeremy again today, he was all set to come and then he remembered that he told his dad that he'd help him build a shed. Could have done it any time this weekend but no, had to be in these few hours that I'm driving to Bullshit. I mean, this is just ridiculous now, mate, because we're on the fourth one. You haven't turned up for any of them, had a poxy excuse every single time. The name Shug Monkey is said to derive from an old English word. Well, we know what monkey is, but Shug is supposed to be a derivative of Scucker, and Scucker in Old English meant demon, so essentially demon monkey. So, quite a chilling one today because if I run into this beast this demon monkey the shug monkey I don't think I would bet on me if I was in a fight with it if that makes sense so we've got all this redundancy stuff going on at work and my boss says to me Nate this weekend you should sort your CV out just start looking for other jobs it doesn't do any harm to do that I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And what am I doing this weekend? I'm driving to Cambridgeshire looking for the Shug Monkey. Heading towards Newmarket, which I will concede is in East Anglia. We're on the borders of West Anglia today. We're on the eastern borders of West Anglia. For anyone who says that this is actually in East Anglia, you're wrong get a map of Anglia, the region that gets Anglian TV and look east, split it in half and you'll see Balsham Falls about halfway leaning towards West Anglia. Okay? I'm claiming it as West Anglia. There's a lot of places which are East Anglian. I'm not claiming them at all. There's a lot of East Anglia. They can have Norwich, Ipswich, Colchester, Felixstowe, Lowestoft, Mundersley, Southwold, Happisburg, Dis, Holt, Thetford, Beckles, Bungie, Sheringham, Cromer, Wells next to sea, Caister, Walton on the Nays, Hunstanton, Kings Lynn, Downham Market, Swatham. East Anglia can have all of those. But today I'm claiming Balsham as West Anglia. I've got high hopes for this one today because I'm coming out to Cambridgeshire, a wonderful county in a wonderful part of West Anglia and I'm not thinking about jobs or work. I've not bought my mobile so there's no distractions there, nothing to think about there and I'm just going to go out and look for the shrug monkey. It's still said to exist, it's still said to be there and how am I going to miss a 10 foot half dog half monkey on a bright sunny day like this? So I'm just driving through Balsham now. A typical village, very well looked after. 
kind of place you probably can't get a phone signal. Not that that matters today because I haven't brought my phone. Not thinking about that. Best kept village, it says, 1993. It's still in good condition though. They should go for it again. Nice pub. And we're here. We're in Balsham. I'm sat here in this shelter, a bit like a bandstand on the village green of Balsham. I was thinking somewhere central like this the shag monkey might come out because monkeys are said to be social animals, social creatures. So far nothing, but uh, I'll stay here a minute longer and just have a look. So I'm outside the butcher's shop in Balsham. Look, shotgun cabinet wanted. So we know that the locals must be armed and dangerous and ready for the shug monkey. They did up with guns for it. There's a school, residential, businesses. I don't think I'm going to find the shug monkey in this particular area. It's all quite built up. Houses, concrete. I don't think it's around here. We didn't have much luck in Balsham, however, I'm now driving to West Ratting. The shug monkey is said to live in between the two villages, so let's just have a look around here and see if there's anything of interest. I'm here in West Ratting. It's pretty quiet. No sign of anything so far. Pretty quiet, really. There's the village hall over there in West Ratting, and um, well, it looks like a lovely place to live around here, but in terms of mythical beasts which is what I'm hoping to see today. It's been a bit thin on the ground. I'm going to have to go out into the surrounding fields and have a look there. The search goes on, the adventure continues. I've traveled around Balsham, I've traveled around West Ratting and I found no sign of the shrug monkey. So I've come out here into the fields and on this lane, Slough Hill Lane, you can see this would be the perfect dwelling for the shrug monkey and I'm hoping I'm gonna find something. And they say the prints of the shug monkey are not like a monkey, they're like a dog. It's not nails, it's claws. So we're gonna have a look on the ground here, see if we can find anything. And if we do, that would really be a discovery, a really good discovery. Let's have a look. Can you see anything here, look? very dry it's not very grassy it's quite muddy if we'd come on a if we'd come on a wetter day perhaps we would actually see something so i've come here to this dense forest like area just beside the bridal way looking for the shug monkey i think that an area like this is where it might live there's good shelter here i'm sure there's food around a wonderful place for a mythical beast like that to live. I have with me somewhere an artist impression of the shug monkey. So this is what we're looking for. Can you see that? Head of a monkey, body of a dog. 10 feet in length as well it says there. I don't know if you can see it. So actually that that's this artist impression that's the head of a chimp rather than a monkey. Um, you, you, you get the idea though, it'll look something like that, 10 feet long. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find something like that. It'll be here somewhere.
There's two helicopters flying. What's going on here? Are they looking for the shock monkey too? Maybe, maybe there's reports it's on the loose. I don't believe this. There's three. I don't believe it. Another one. One, two, three. Three helicopters. This is incredible. This is incredible. Three helicopters. All looking for the shug monkey. They must be. It must be out. It must be on the loose. Somebody must have seen it. Oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. Three helicopters. Three helicopters. Three helicopters looking for the shug monkey. And we're here on this day, on this day that we're standing here, three helicopters looking for the shug monkey, right there. Look at that. Legends of West Anglia. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, what's this? What have we got here? It's, um, is it part of a car or something? And there's something here, you can't see in my shadow, but there's, I don't know, something else. Is this the shug monkey's work? Did some, and there's something here as well. A bit more of a car, is it? Is this the shug monkey's work? It's a tire, it's a chewed up tire. Look at that. That's a chewed up tire, isn't it? That has to have been the shug monkey. What else would chew a tire up like that? And why else would it be here? Just look at it. Have we got teeth marks or something? But look, it's all kind of chewed. What on earth could do that to a tire? Why else would you do that to a tire? Unless you are some rabid beast. Look, metal too, all bent, all distorted. This is very exciting. Very incredible scenes. The shark monkey must have been here. It must have been here, right? Must have. Right? Forget about CVs, Sodom, sod CVs, sod redundancy, sod, sod everything. Just, it's been an amazing day today. Absolutely brilliant. Jeremy, editing this one will be so easy, even you can't mess it up. Go to Bullsham, go to West Ratting, then finally we go to the lane and bang, the evidence is all there. Easy peasy. If you can do that, Jeremy, that would be super. You missed out today, you missed out. This was a really good one. I mean, they're all good. They're all good, but this was a really good one. Well, you've missed all the other ones as well, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Jeremy, you're gonna go into work on Monday morning and your colleagues are gonna to say to you, what did you do this weekend, Jeremy? And you're gonna say, oh, I went round my dad's and put a shed up. Me, I'm gonna go into work. They're gonna say, Nathaniel, what did you do this weekend? I'm going to say I found evidence of a mythical beast living right here in our doorstep in West Anglia. That was the search for the shug monkey and what a search it was. We found some compelling evidence of its existence and I hope you'll join me Nathaniel Whiston next time for more legends of West Anglia.